This poor little girl made the front page of Time magazine in 2003. She is 11 year old. She has type 2 diabetes. <coughs> Let's assume that her parents are normal weight. She will not outlive her parents. In fact, 70 to 80 percent of people with diabetes die of cardiovascular complications, and about 20 percent of them die of uh, kidney failure. This is the toxic world that we have engineered for ourselves. Our sedentary lifestyle, our poor nutritional habits, we need to pay attention not only to what we eat, but to what we drink. Ever think about how much sugar you drink in a day? Increased consumption of sugar-sweetened beverages is leading to increased waistlines, it's impacting diabetes, and it's increasing risk of cardiovascular disease. We now have worldwide 366 million individuals with type 2 diabetes, and it's almost an entirely preventable disease. We just finished a study, and we found that uh, those who drink um, soda on a regular basis, at least one serving per day, they gain 1.5 pounds more weight over four years. Uh, even though this amount of weight gain doesn't sound a lot, uh, the weight gain can uh, accumulate over time. Oftentimes, people don't feel satisfied after they drink a sugary sweetened beverage, and that can lead to them drinking more beverages and not noticing how much sugar and calories they're consuming, as well as eating more food. At the ICCR, we have proposed this inverted pyramid. At the top of the pyramid, you have water, contains no calories, neutral, no risk whatsoever for health. Unsweetened tea and coffee has some benefit, low fat milk. And you see at the bottom of this pyramid, we have put, of course, sugar-sweetened beverages. We also found that when people substitute water for soda, their risk of diabetes is reduced by 7%. And this reduction is clinically and statistically significant. One of the big messages getting out there is that juice should be limited. Which of these beverages has the most sugar? Can you believe that grape juice at 15 teaspoon of sugar, and that add up to 255 calories. The amount of sugar contained can be even greater than a sugar sweetener of soft drinks. One solution is changing environments and policies, which can lead to sustained, long-lasting behavior change. That's what we're doing through Let's Go, a childhood obesity prevention program based in Portland, Maine. Schools are taking out vending machines that were full of sports drinks and juices and sodas and replacing them with all water vending machines. Teachers are now getting back to letting students have water bottles on their desks. Water fountains are being shined and revamped and decorated. I see ads for sports drinks all the time. Which is best? Water's my sports drink. Over two-thirds of parents report that their children adhere to the zero message of drinking less sugar and more water and low-fat milk. The truth is that uh, beverages um, have a very important role in our health. Liquid calories count. The bottom line is really the safest way to hydrate yourself is to drink water.